<laughs> oh, look at you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. All right, let's see. Today we are doing another one of the ones that came in the, uh, the, the beer mail package from Wayne Allen from Bucks County Beer Reviews. I will leave a link up here and one in the description. Uh, make sure you check them out. If you can't check them out, you missed the link or you don't know how to do it. If you have a Facebook, go on Facebook and look up Beer Reviewers United. It's my group on Facebook, and there's a bunch of awesome reviewers there, and Wayne is one of them for Bucks County Beer Reviews. Make sure you check that out, Bucks County Beer Reviews. All right, so today's the third out of all the, the eight brews that he gave me. Obviously, the last one that I'll do may not even be done anytime soon. I might age it even further. That 28-year-old beer might be put off a little further. So this one... The third one is Found Friends, Dock Street, from Dock Street Brewing, so it says Dock Street Found Friends, it's a hazy India pale ale, and uh, let's see what it says here, 6.5% ABV, 65 IBUs, hazy IPA, brewed to benefit the Philadelphia Animals Welfare Society, aka Paul's. P-A-W-S, Philadelphia Animal Welfare Society. So, hopped with Idaho 7 and Motuika, Mo, uh, I guess that's how you pronounce that, Idaho 7 and Motuika hops. A dollar from every four-pack sold goes to Paul's to support their life-saving mission to make Philadelphia a no-kill city for our four-legged friends. Learn more at phillypauls.org. Like Philadelphia, Philly Pauls, P-A-W-S. So brewed and canned by Dock Street Brewery. Um, it's actually Dock Street Brewery South, LLC, Limited Liability Corporation. And Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, not far from where my buddy Wayne lives. So um, also I believe there's another TK a Beer Day. Uh, I believe he comes from there. He lives in Ohio now, but I believe he comes from uh, Philadelphia. Paul. So I like that. So they're every every dollar for every four pack goes to, you know, the animal shelters, basically. They're trying to get them homes. That's pretty darn neat. So there you have it. Found friends. I was wondering for a minute why I didn't say fond friends, you know, at first. And now I realize it. Beer drinkers and animal lovers rejoice. Oops, sorry there, guys. I didn't know there was a glare. All right. Uh, you can soon enjoy a flavorful, hazy India pale ale that benefits the Philadelphia Animal Welfare Society. Found friends. New brew, six point, yada, yada, yada. We already listened to all that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we already did that. So. So that's pretty cool. They even got stories on here of several dogs that got rescued. And there's a big story here. You can go check out their website. You can even check out this uh, specific brewery's website. And they'll they'll tell you enough about it. Um, that's pretty cool. And this brewery that's making this beer is as old as I am. Yep. Yep. It, was, it started the same year I was born. Nice. Okay. That's uh, enough talking about it. Let's get into it. Smells hoppy. That's all I can say about that. It smells hoppy. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. <laughs> right. Woo, boy, look at the head on that thing. Hot day. I do say. That's a heady one, eh? My goodness, it's that's definitely hazy. I mean, I think we got a good full fat fingers of uh, foam there. 
It's relatively a dense, dense looking, hmm, see somewhat of a sheen for a wet foam for the head. Okay. It's hard to tell now that the sun's starting to go down. It gets dark here in the damn bar. I don't want the glare. Yeah, it looks like a dry foam for the head. Definitely hazy. Definitely. Man, that is definitely hazy. It looks like orange juice or something, you know? You see the shadow, the, you can't see the finger through there. And look at the head retention on that. Still, it's not shrinking. I mean, look at that head retention. Beautiful. So, pretty light in color. Yeah, pretty light in color. I think I'd give this about a five or maybe... Yeah, yeah, about a five or see. Actually, it's darker than that. I'm, I'm about to say that's about a seven, maybe. Okay. Man, look at that head retention. Oh, all right. This actually smells better out of the can. Getting like an orange smell. Hoppy, some maltiness. Kind of like an orange smell. Hell, it even kind of looks, well, I was going to say like orange juice, but it looks like a hazy India pillow. There's a fruitiness there. I'm getting some orange. Hmm. That's about all I'm getting, really. Let's dive in. Let's get, our, let's get a nip of the head. Bitter, almost soapy bitter, with a little bit of like an orangey flavor. I like that. Time to dive in. Salut. Hmm. All right. So. Light to medium body, really relatively smooth. It's like on the border of smooth and like a crispness. You know, it's it's more smooth than anything, for sure. This ain't too bad. It's a very well crafted IPA, hazy IPA. I mean. Okay, so it's not really differing itself from anything, you know. It's it's just it's like standing up in the whole crowd of IPAs to me. It's just got your IPA flavor, you know. So like I'm I'm not is I, mean, I I I guess you can call it juicy. Um it's got hoppiness, maltiness. Like I said, light to medium body. Um, it's actually I can also pick up a little bit of the the, the uh, booziness. There's actually, which is weird because it's only what I say six point five percent. Wow. So, food wise, uh, I'm craving some French fries. And deep fried fish, your fish and chips. I don't know why. That's what I'm craving. Or fish sandwich, even like, if, but if not like, not no gourmet stuff. I'm talking about, you know, run down to your Lon John Silver's and get yourself fish sandwich, or hell, even a damn fish fillet, fillet of fish, whatever you call it, the Mc fillet of fish, whatever, would be good with this. I think. Or even better yet, just fish and chips. You know, so. Online with only 98 reviews on tap, this has a 3.93. That's pretty damn good. It's only 98 reviews. It's not even on Beer Advocate at all. Would I go seeking this out? Would I buy this again? Obviously, it was a gift. I didn't buy it. I got four dollars and twenty-five cents for this can. Basically, about seventeen dollars after taxes and all that for a four-pack. So. That's about four twenty-five a can or more with taxes. No, I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't. I mean, it's 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 good, but it's it's not like standing out like a really great IPA or anything. It just it's up in there with all the rest of them. Uh, I do like their cause. I definitely gotta say I do. I do enjoy. You know, the, it's a beer with a cause. To help the paws. I like that. I do like that about it, but you know. There's been so many things that do that, and really all they're doing is pocketing all the money. I don't know. I haven't done my research on it. Maybe they're legit. I don't know. Every time I see that, all I see is like them grab, you know, like trying to get attention in a sense. And the beer's good. It's not a bad brew. This is definitely a good brew. You know, it's not, I'm not, I'm going to drink it all. But it's just not something that's going to ring my memory bells. I'm not going to go craving it, you know. So... Yeah, I think uh, Big B Beer View Grade, I think I'm going to give this one a C. A C. Still a passing grade. This is not bad. It's a good brew. Definitely a good brew. Thank you, Wayne, very much for the opportunity to be able to try this because obviously I could never get this down here. I thank you so much. And make sure that all y'all watching this check out Bucks County Beer Reviews. He's uh, on YouTube, and if you need help finding it, check out Beer Reviewers United on Facebook. It's on Facebook. It's a group, beer, and he's on there along with a bunch of others. I hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed drinking it. I meant making it. And if so, please hit like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned because I still got all the rest of these to go through that, he's, that he gave me and plenty more that I went and hunted down. So until next time, salute.